<laughs> okay, question three. The matrix A is given by 2A... Oh, A is 2A01, where A is a constant. Find the inverse of A. Okay, we, we can do that. We now have to find the inverse. Inverse of A is 1 over the determinant of A. And the determinant of A would be 2 times 1 minus 2 <coughs> times A. So that's going to be 2. Multiplied by, uh, what do we do to find the inverse? You swap the leading diagonal and change the signs on the other diagonal. So it's going to look like that. And for, uh, for those marks, that is quite an easy couple of marks, isn't it? I can't do that right. Um, and as I say, make sure you do it with the right matrix, because I did it with that matrix stupidly first. But, um, but nobody else in the world has ever made that mistake. Part 2. The matrix P is given by 2A41. Given that PA equals B by the matrix P. So the first mark here was for demonstrating that little bit of knowledge of how inverses and products and all that stuff work. So we're, we're thinking if, if we know that PA equals B, if you post multiply by the inverse of A, PA A inverse is B A inverse. So that's P times the identity matrix, so P on its own is B A <coughs> minus 1. So that's what we must be doing here. We must be doing B 2A41 times by the inverse of our matrix, which is 1 minus A, 0, 2. And of course, we also, that inverse has a half in front of it, so we're going to multiply by a half as well as part of that multiplication, which gives us a half times 2 times 1 plus A times 0, minus 2A plus 2A, 4 minus 0, and minus 4A plus 2. <coughs> so there we go, that is an answer, but it makes sense, doesn't it, to pull the half inside, because it's, it is a, a factor of, 2 is a factor of everything in there. So we have 1, 0, 2, and then that's 2, that's 1 minus 2a, isn't it? That's a nice way of writing it. There we go, and that is the matrix P. Spend it. I didn't say that's math today, so you didn't stop it. It's still recording. So I did say 